it is moving day and we are getting everything moved out of the house uh, for the most part there's going to be little uh, things that are going to be left over that we're going to have a couple days to take care of those things but for the most part the majority of things are getting moved uh, already took a u-haul and a few several trips of just basically yard stuff so yeah and if all goes well today i get to have my greenhouse slash shed that i had built if you haven't seen that video i'll link it up here for you but yeah uh that hopefully will get to go so i'm gonna show you what everybody's kind of doing uh just a little bit so that you can see what's happening and then i will transition you for our last walk here through this yard and into a yard tour for my new place. So you guys, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new to my channel, I forgot to mention, my name is Juanita and I'm all about getting up, getting out and getting active and hopefully to encourage you in one way or another. Hopefully not moving, but <laughs> if you're moving, hopefully you will see some little tips and tricks that these guys are doing because these guys are professionals and I'm really happy so far with everything they're doing. We have Francis over here. Uh, he's the boss <laughs> and he's organizing it so that we can take my greenhouse. And uh, yeah, so far we have a good size amount of room still. So a big shout out to uh, this company because, uh, and, and the crew, because they are fantastic. So let me give you a actual look so it's actually all my sons moving and storage. I've seen their truck many, many times going down the road, but it is uh, totally f getting filled up, looking great. Okay, I'm going to let them do their thing.
this is my last garden walk for this for this yard i hope you enjoyed this and i believe the new owners are here but yeah this is what the yard looks like on july 5th and that's our realtor who has been a godsend to us he's with uh, more realty so if you are in the area please look him up okay it's not perfect but it's as good as it's gonna get and that's where our chickens were and we will see them in their own chicken mansion okay this is it you guys i did leave them some tomatoes some chives a barbecue tomatoes that propagated from last year some chives and some lettuce so yeah i'm gonna swing you back around thank you guys for watching i'll meet you on our uh five acres the sun is going to be bright so i just wanted to give one last straw before i leave all the all of the lilies are popping up and uh all the dahlias as well one needs to be trimmed off every time that my mind slip i just see my past life having dreams in a dream i wonder why i carried on with the things that made you lose your mind there's no way i can undo what i've done can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning what's so bad about that so why won't you follow why won't you follow me home i know i can't make you mine yes i ran out of town there's no hope for me i fell down the bottom so i fell down way deep but if i can't have the real you then let me make a 3d print Like, but I do So you faded out while I watched it down Obsessed with myself Wanna hit the reverse on what's broken Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning But what's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine Yes, I ran out of town There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print Last load, you guys. Last load to Cartsville. And the last load here. See you, Alberta Castle.
Oh, it's hot in here, Coco. Let's go home. Let's go home, honey. Let's go home. So this is the new property and uh, the gardens are really pretty nice. This container here will not be here when when I actually tour it, once I get in the land. But uh, yeah, so right now what I'm going to be doing is kind of walking around the property to see how many um, irrigation hoses they have because they do have already the setup for the irrigation, which is gonna save me a ton of, ton of time. So there's one hose right here. Uh, looks like they have more hoses here. So there's got to be, but look at this garden. Isn't that just gorgeous? I mean, I'll probably change this up a little bit, um, but they definitely have some beautiful gardens and I definitely will be adding more gardens over in this whole direction, pond or something over here as well. And then right here, I have another water spigot, which is good to see. This is another garden area. You can see what they have, phobias. And they have an azalea. They have some, uh, looks like maybe some uh, tulips over here. And they can't be tulips. It, this is, oh, um, daylilies. Uh, they have a little tree over here, a couple of little trees. I'm um, going to have to re-familiarize myself with some of these plants because I don't know all of them. Um, but we'll go over those once I uh, get more familiar and can see what they're coming, what's coming up. But that's kind of where I wanted to see was that spigot. But this is five acres, so it goes all the way down to the end of that post right there. And then it'll cross over into this wooded area. But a lot of potential uh, in this property to do a lot of really great gardens. And definitely it's going to have the light. So this primarily is ours here. And then this is vegetable gardening. Looks like they might have some uh, blueberries maybe. They have a composting area, which is awesome to see. And then there is a gate here. I'm not gonna go into a lot of this, but it does look like they have some Vines here might be uh, grapes, but didn't, we'll need to clean all this up. Looks like they had corn. Right here, they have a shed here, which is just a tool shed. And that's pretty nice to have a garden shed. It sticks a little bit, but that's okay. It's just the weather. But they have some storage here. Uh, I see that they have a area to burn. So yeah, right here is a target area. So I'm gonna go back up this way to uh, look at how many spigots they have, water spigots. Oh, here's another one. But yeah, this has hoses on it. Uh, so that's good to see that that's there. Um, no gate to get through here, which I may go ahead and install a gate here. Yep, I'm, I'm looking for them, yeah, I saw that. This all has irrigation.
Yeah. Yeah, maybe we need to check on that. I don't see another water thing here. But... <clears throat> yeah, looks like the irrigation oh, goes to... Yeah, I saw that one. And then there's one, one hose. Huh? The living room is pretty dark. Okay. We're going to have to brighten it up. Uh, th through this door, you go into the house. Through this door, you go into the pantry. And you said that this is that cooler right there. Yeah. So they probably will leave that. And then here's a an enclosed. So obviously they have deer. And then there is the meter right there, which they have it kind of covered up with this lady. Let's see. Then they have another house right here. So that's just fantastic that it has tons of... Hey, babe, they have tons of uh, watering options i don't see any water uh watering options here but i can go in there uh, right here is the greenhouse let me back up it's a nice uh seed shed but this is what this looks like in here so this is where i'll be doing some seeds and I do see that they have a uh, door over here. And this will go into the garden, which is really kind of nice. Um, okay. Yep, it looks like they might have a watering. Oh, yeah, look at that right there. So you can get in from the outside or you can get in from here. But this has some gardening. Uh, shed and then it does look like they have air drip irrigation throughout here that is so fantastic I, I can't wait to get in this garden but they've done all that work and then the water there's a water uh, I think this is what they're taking Brad so we're gonna have to find this is what they're talking about they're gonna take so we just need to find an old one and so yeah so that's the garden right there, and it's all in cage. So obviously they have deer. I'm gonna close this door, huh? They will be taking this pot belly. So that's okay, I can always buy another one. At least it's already uh, set up for that. This area here, I have no idea what this is. I'm going to guess this is a septic tank. No. I wonder what this is. We, we'll need to ask about that. But it's this whole area right here that's... Oh, good. A gopher trap. Because I know they have them. So yeah, it's a cute little backyard. Can you find out? They said that there's awnings and there's yeah, posts. I was reading, it says a retractable. <laughs> yeah. And it did say that. Oh, okay, yeah. It did say that the patio was ready for footers. Uh -huh. If you wanted to build out, I just don't see. Yeah, where, where that, that is. is. So that's part of going to ask. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do you even care about the footer part? Well, well, it'll, it'll, it'll how you build it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can put footers and drill footers right on the, okay. on the it says that concrete. They have them ready, but I just don't see I don't them. see them. Yeah, there's supposed to be footers, but I, I don't see any footers. But that's okay. We can figure that out. It does have central air which is fantastic and i don't see any water specifically 
coming over in this direction, but they have to, must have put it underneath the sidewalk because I don't see any spigots, but water spigots, but that's okay. And then um, right over here is quite a bit of property. Then you walk through here and there's a big chicken runner. Now they do have a dog kennel thing. Um, I, what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to just as a building block to enclosing that. And then I'll use that for garden, as for some garden shed and then put some walkways over here. But yeah, nice to see that this is all enclosed. The chickens will be able to run around freely outside of the chicken coop, but that's the chicken coop mansion. Anyway, so um, I'm not gonna take you through the whole yard, but it does look like they have wood pile over there. And it does go back here to some degree and then across. So there is a, like a junk pile right here, right on this other side, which they will clear out. I think that is on our property. Let me go back here because it does have a fence. So there is a fence right here that goes all the way across. So yeah, this is part of the, the property and it goes all the way down to that post. So yeah, I'm gonna take you to this shed and then I'll take you inside. I don't know what this little covert is. Right here, this whole area right here is where we're gonna build a uh, pottery shop and a man cave. And then this will be storage for tools and stuff, which will be great. We can actually use that. And then more wood here. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna clear it out. Hopefully they do. So that's, that's the yard. It has a little bit of a view from this direction. So that's gonna be really nice. Let me take you inside. Welcome to our new home. Thank you. Start with the garage. And as you can see, it's a pretty good size two car garage. Uh, they did take the storage that was up here, but that's okay. We can add that in ourselves. But here is the beer cooler and then the water softeners, and then the uh, water heater, the tankless water heater. Then through the garage, you can go into the pantry. Then you walk in through here, and this, you go into the kitchen. It's really kind of nice because it has a double uh, drawer dishwasher, more cabinets than I've ever had in my house. So I will never be able to fill all these cabinets up, but it's gonna be nice to have. And then um, I love that it has a water feature in here. And the stove looks really, a really nice stove. It's actually, what is this? This is a monogram. And so it's a pretty nice stove. And yeah, lots of cabinets. Here's our beer tabs over here. Neither one of us really drink beer, but we may start, but I may use one for wine. But uh, yeah, a lot of cabinets, more cabinets than I know what to do with. Really nice refrigerator, does need cleaning. They did leave the uh, microwave. I never use a microwave, but that's where that is. And nice big island, lots of more drawers on top over here on this side, and then a lot of other drawers in this side. And then um, the laundry room is right over here. They did take the wash and dryer, so I will be, we will be replacing that. Uh, we'll need to get some stools 
This area right here is a dining space. So this whole area and kitchen is pretty big. And what I love about this house is that, I don't know if you can tell by the room, but the ceilings are actually very tall ceilings, which is one of the things that I really wanted in a home. Uh, and then the living room is really large, as you can see. They did leave me some curtains. I don't like curtains, but uh, those are pretty nice. And then they did leave some sunshades, which uh, the morning sun does come through here, and I guess it gets pretty hot. Uh, then through here is the guest bathroom, and they did take the mirror, which I was expecting that, but I wasn't expecting them to take the towel rack which I thought was very interesting, but it is what it is. And so, yeah, and so, nice room, nice big room, especially for a guest bathroom. And then over here is the guest bedroom, and it's a, a good size for a queen-size bed. Uh, there is just a very small, shallow closet in here. Not, not really big, but big enough for guests. And then through here, this room here will be my workout room where I'll have a walk-in closet for, for my clothes. And that's pretty good size. Then um, you walk back out to the living room. And so this door leads outside. And of course that leads out to the backyard. We saw our first deer today which was really exciting so there's the chicken coop and there's a dog kennel right over here which i'll probably use that for tools and stuff then over here is a greenhouse over here but the backyard's really nice and sizable and then you walk back to the living room and then right in here is our bedroom looking at an empty house the rooms look so much smaller than they did when they had all their stuff when they had all their stuff, it was like, looked like huge. And then, um, then you walk in and this is the master bedroom and a tub. And then uh, the shower over here, which I would really love to redo and uh, just take out this plastic uh, shower and actually put, actually um, tile and tile it in. And then this bathroom here, is the master bathroom. It does have a his and hers, which we are super excited about that. And then, uh, let's see, I'll turn you around this way because there's a lot of cabinets here, much more than what we have in our own home. And then uh, in here is a walk-in closet. And it's a good size. I think it's eight by five or six. So it's not bad. For uh, and I, I absolutely love that it's right next to the bathroom. And then over in this direction out of the bedroom is what will be my office. And it's just a tiniest little room, but it works. But that's, that's it. That's all there is to our home. Very small compared to what we're used to, but it, it's going to work. So now that you get to see what it looks like empty and uh, you'll get to see what it looks like once we start filling it up. So I'll give you another tour at that point. And then of course you walk out side and you can see the very tip of Mount Rainier right over there. So that's our view.